Hey what's going on guys it is Temper Alliance and today in this video I want to talk about um, Call of Duty the next Call of Duty game that will be releasing by what we thought was uh, Treyarch but it's actually another company now um, I made a last video on about about it being a rumor and that it was about Sledgehammer games well uh, it was a few days ago that we got news that Sledgehammer games is actually going to be making this uh, next year's or this year's I meant to say uh, Call of Duty the 2014 title of Call of Duty which is pretty cool uh, so like I said, I, I talked about it in my uh, last video, but that was just a rumor and the possibilities about, you know, like, you know, that company making the next Call of Duty game. Now, since Sledgehammer Games is um, making this year's Call of Duty game, we won't know what to expect. It could be a completely new Call of Duty game. It could be the same. It could be the same as the Modern Warfare series. It could be the same as Ghost. It could be the same as Black Ops. It, it just could, it just could be another regular Call of Duty game. Um, but, you know, we don't know that until they release it because we never seen a Call of Duty game from them before. So this is going to be the very first Call of Duty game um, that 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 they will make. Now they did help in Infinity Ward with Modern for Three, so they kind of have a rough idea on how to make a Call of Duty game. Um, so you know it's it's quite good. Um, sorry about this. Uh, Apparently the gameplay has some technical difficulties, uh, which I do apologize. Um, but uh, I actually, I actually did not know until I'm looking over it right now. So um, yeah, so this game has some, some technical difficulties, which I actually do apologize. Um, but it's nothing that I can do now since it's already recorded. But um, anyway, so it's gonna, so Sledgehammer Games um, is gonna be making their very first Call of Duty game ever. Like I said. They did help with with more for three, so they have a rough idea on how to make it. Um, I'm not really sure uh, which part they helped. I think it was the multiplayer, and uh, Infinity Ward made the single player, and Sledgehammer uh, Games made the multiplayer. And for most people, by the time when more for three was released, um, well, not it wasn't most people, but some people were a little bit disappointed about the multiplayer because it just wasn't good that they thought. And it was supposed to be called you for more for two combined together as a one multiplayer but people just weren't interested they got fed up and they just stopped playing it but but most people like me um did play it i didn't i didn't really mind one for three one for three was actually quite good it was a little bit disappointing you know there was a way too many overpowered weapons you know the death streaks were annoying and you know it was just some stuff that was really annoying but we got over it well i got over it and some people uh, didn't so they decided to crack the game in half or just, or just refuse to play it and uh, you know this took all their anger out on Twitter to Robert Bowling when uh, he used to work for Infinity Ward not anymore. He's making his own title now. Um, so yeah, so Sledgehammer Games. So this year, since they're making the whole thing, it might not be as good as we expect because, like I said, some people just didn't like the multiplayer in Warfare Three, which Sledgehammer Games helped. Um, so you know, just just by saying that, we it could just be another bummer for another Call of Duty game. You know, like it's the exact same thing every year when a new Call of Duty game comes out. We get excited, it's like, yes, a new Call of Duty game, this looks good, you know, I can't wait to play it. It releases, we play it, we get fed up with it, we just refuse to play it. It's the same thing every year because they just bring out the same thing every year, you know, that's that's pretty much the reason. But um, I still play Call of Duty, some people just refuse to play Call of Duty. But Sledgehammer Games, I hope that they really make this Call of Duty game good. And it's even better for Infinity Ward and Treyarch because um, it was supposed to be Treyarch's turn for this year's Call of Duty game, but now they get to have three years. So Sledgehammer Games is is another company that will be making Call of Duty um, from now on, which is a good thing because uh, it gives Infinity Ward and Treyarch and Sledgehammer Games as well um, a, a three-year period to make a new Call of Duty game. And you know, like this is actually a fact that most game developers you know needs a few years to make a game you know because you can't just make it in a few months you know you have to program all of this stuff you know um sketch out your drawings on what the the, the, the players are going to look like you know campaign story wise you know it takes years to make and develop a game so it's actually a good thing that you're that they begin another year to work on their call of duty game because they only had like a year and a half to actually make a new call of duty game so pretty much like i, I would say after like by the time when, say for example, Infinity Ward um, game comes out, then Chark will just instantly go right into their new game because that's when they finished, you know, doing their last um, DLC, or pretty much like that. So like by the time when Chark re releases their last DLC, they go straight into their new game and try and get it all done um, for 
um, for for a year after that, for the year af after the next, which isn't really a lot of time. Uh, a, a, a lot of time. Um, so you know, it's actually a good thing that they get more extra time. The bad thing is though, and I re remember saying it in my last video when I was talking about this, that we won't get zombies because it was supposed to be Treyarch's turn um, to release a new Call of Duty game, um, and you know they are the only um, company that that makes zombies into Call of Duty, so we won't be getting any zombies for this year unless. Unless um, Sledgehammer Games comes up with something good um, to replace zombies, like I don't know, like re replace the zombies with robots or something like that, so, uh, uh, something good that we can enjoy, uh, you know, besides multiplayer. So we won't get any zombies this year, which is a bummer. But I'm actually quite excited for Sledgehammer Games' new Call of Duty. Um, you know, like we won't know what to expect. It's a completely new thing. Uh, I wasn't really sure if it was true, but most people said that Sledgehammer Games. Uh, made, made a few games in the past and they just turned out to be horrible I can't remember the titles um, but you know I just heard it from friends and uh, you know all, all, other people online saying that Sledgehammer games you know made awful awful games but um, I don't know that's all rumors but um, hopefully Sledgehammer games will make a good college game uh, I, I say they will even though it's their first time they won't really know everything about it but hopefully they they can make a good Call of Duty and they had some experience with Infinity Ward as well so Infinity Ward helped them out on making a, a Call of Duty game so you know Infinity Ward kind of gives um, Sledgehammer's a bit of a boost on how to make a Call of Duty game uh, they said something on Twitter that I can't really remember but they said you know um, you know making something that that, that we won't expect for uh, this year's uh, Call of Duty we didn't get any news on it though which is a bummer because uh, you know like during now pretty much during this month um we uh we we hear a new title you know a little teaser title and then um we and then a few months after that we we will uh hear more of, of, about the game then and then time after that so um so yeah so they're actually taking their time on um telling us the new title but I have patience. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did give this video a like, I always appreciate when you liked the video. And also comment down below on what you guys think. Are you looking forward to this year's Call of Duty game by Sledgehammer? Leave your thoughts and suggestions down below in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's actually pretty much it from me. Once again, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.